Hey guys, Jay here. Today I'm going to show you the steps in Corel Draw to make this oops, hoop breathe with your laser. So get prepared, get ready for another boring tutorial video with Jay. Okay guys, Jay's to do list here today and I am working on building some hoop breathes, which are a pretty good selling product for footsteps in the past. Um, I'm going to show you how to lay them out here using Corel Draw 2020, the 64 bit. Um, uh, the one that I'm going to make here that you see me holding in my thumbnail is a circle. So you grab the Eclipse tool over here on the left, the Eclipse tool here, click it, and then draw out your Eclipse or your circle. Okay, and after we have that dropped out, we're going to get out our arrow key here. I like your circle. And the one we're doing today is going to be 16 inches. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be changing the size as we go on, but we'll just get it a perfect circle. All right, so we have a perfect circle. And then we've got an outline. What I like to do is uh, select your circle here and over on the property bar. Oh, by the way, if your property bar is gone or missing like this, uh, all you have to do is right click on the, the page and uh, anywhere on the back page and click properties. And then your property bar will pop back up in case it ever disappears on you. Okay, we got this circle here. And what I like to do is I'm working with points. I don't know why, probably just because that's what I got accustomed to. And I like to make mine 50 points. And if you go to inches, you'll see that it's almost three quarters of an inch. Switch this back to points. <clears throat> okay. All right, next step I'm going to do is I am actually going to make a welcome. Oops, typo guys. Welcome. Okay, so we pulled out our text tool here. We drew a little box and we typed up welcome. Okay, now we have our welcome here in a text box. You right click on the box and click convert to artistic text. And then I'm going to grab one of the corners right here and stretch it out. And now we're just gonna pick a font that we like I'm just going to stick with a uh, PN Big Shot just because it's right there. All right. Let's go ahead and stretch this out. Sorry, so I stretched it out a little bit larger. I'm going to go ahead and just put it over here to where I think it looks good. And I don't want that to contrast. So I'm actually going to want the contrast so I can see what's going on. So I'm just going to change that color. So I change the color by changing the uniform film to blue over here on the right. I'll make this a little bit larger, I'll even still. I think I'm going to angle it a little bit too. It'll be cute. All right. Now we'll select our, uh, our welcome here. You'll notice that. Actually, you'll notice that there's a gap here that we're going to need to fix. So. I'm going to actually make this a little thicker. By the way, the way that I would do it is I'm just going to add on maybe six points. Uh, let's let that on eight points. We're adding on eight points. And it needs to be the exact same color as the fill. We'll get the eyedropper and same color as the fill. All right. All right. So now we have a blue welcome on top of a black circle. So click this here. We'll click bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, 100 dots per inch. Okay. Now we'll go to two trace bitmaps, outline bitmaps, line art. And then make sure we unselect and then reselect delete original. I don't know why, but every single copy of Corel Draw 2020 I work on, if you don't unselect and reselect delete, it will leave it on there. And it's really annoying. So now we have, instead of a font, we're now dealing with a vector. So we can kind of pull it around. I wish I could point with my fingers, but you'll see as I'm pulling around, they don't have the little lines in there anymore. Okay, and another problem that we have is our welcome. The W is not connected. So now this is a vector. We can click on it, ungroup, click the W, and I'm just going to move it over a little bit so it touches over that black. Okay, now we'll highlight it, and then I'll click bitmaps, convert bitmaps, points, okay. Trace it, match, outline, line art. 
and we got to turn this back into a vector. So what that did was just connected our welcome together, so it's one piece. Let's put this back on this. Okay, let's I go ahead and align it by selecting both pieces, and I will click C and E, so it's center. <clears throat> Okay, now the magic. So we'll take this welcome here, and I'm going to Control C and Control V. So we'll have a welcome here, and then we're going to make sure we don't change the size of this welcome, and we're going to need to make it the same fill color as the outer ring. Boom, like this. Now we select both the circle and the black welcome, but do not select the blue welcome. Click bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, okay. Trace, outline trace, line trace. On select, reselect. Looks good. Okay. So now what we have here is a welcome and a welcome cutout. So welcome on the ring. So on your, your laser, I use um, RD works, which reads the outline color of um, your piece here that talks to the laser. So I'll click on this and we'll click the line and I will put a hairline on it and I will make sure it is black. Zero red, zero green, zero blue. By the way, we got to work in the RGB scale when we're working with RD works. So zero red, zero green, zero blue. On mine, that means it's going to cut the perimeters to, to cut clean through the product. In this case, it's quarter-inch plywood. So now we're going to select the blue one, and same thing. Here, line, make sure it's RGB, and all these are zeros. So with my machines, I have them set for black to be cut out uh, our quarter-inch plywood. But yeah, I want to do one more thing. We need a little thing up here to hang this. So we'll get another eclipse. And I'm going to put a one-inch circle. The perfect circle. Okay, and we'll click this here. And let's make it 20 point outline over here. All right, we'll bring this down just a little bit more. And then take this and shift. If you select the circle, then press shift and hold it down and select this circle. That highlights this one and this one. And I can press the C button, which will align it this way. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and go bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, 100 dots per inch. Okay. Trace, outline trace, line trace. Okay. So essentially these are both ready to cut now. And I wish that is really as simple as that um, hoop wreath is. You could do anything, any, any word in here you want, any silhouette in here that you want. Um, that's basic and simple, and we saw a lot of these, so hopefully you do too. All right, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for watching. Uh, okay, guys. So you'll wind up with something like this. You'll have the two pieces, paint and stain it up the color that you want. And then you can see why we have the two layers here. This actually raised up on here. You just glue that right to the circle. It's pretty popular at our store. I didn't paint the back, but it's pretty popular items that we sell in our store and we sell these wholesale. All right. All right, I'm Jay. That's my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.